Good morning, Michael here, and today's devotion is coming again from Psalms 28, and focusing on verse 5 and 6. We'll just read the first six verses then. Verse 1, To you, O Lord, I call, my rock, be not deaf to me, lest, if you be silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cry to you for help, when I lift up my hands towards your most holy sanctuary. Do not drag me off with the wicked, with the workers of evil, who speak peace with their neighbors while evil is in their hearts. Give to them according to their work and according to the evil of their deeds. Give to them according to the work of their hands. Render them their due reward. Verse 5. Because they do not regard the works of the Lord or the work of his hands, he will tear them down and build them up no more. Verse 6. Blessed be the Lord, for he has heard the voice of my pleas for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. In him my heart trusts, and I am helped. My heart exults, and with my song. I give thanks to him. Spurgeon thus expounds. Verse 5. Because they regard not the works of the Lord, nor the operations of his hands, God works in creation. Nature teemed with proof of his wisdom and goodness. Yet, per blind atheists refuse to see him. He works in providence, ruling and overruling, and his hand is very manifest in human history. Yet the infidel would not discern him. He works in grace. Remarkable conversions are still met with on all hands, yet the ungodly refuse to see the operations of the Lord. Where angels wander, carnal men despise. God condescends to teach, and man refuses to learn. He shall destroy them. He will make them behold and wonder and perish. If they would not see the hand of judgment upon others, they shall feel it upon themselves. Both soul and body shall be overwhelmed with utter destruction for ever and ever, and not build them up. God's cure is positive and negative. His sword has two edges and cuts right and left. Their heritage of evil shall prevent the ungodly receiving any good. The ephah shall be too full of wrath to contain a grain of hope. They have become like old, rotten, decayed houses of timber, useless to their owner, and harboring all manners of evil, and therefore the great builder will demolish them utterly. Incorrigible offenders may expect speedy destruction. They who will not mend shall be thrown away as worthless. Let us be very attentive to all the lessons of God's word and work, lest being found disobedient to the divine will, we be made to suffer the divine wrath. Verse 6. Blessed be the Lord. Saints are full of benedictions. They are a blessed people, and blessing people, but they give their best blessings, the fat of their sacrifices, to their glorious Lord. Our psalm was prayer up to this point, and now it turns to praise. They who pray well will soon praise well. Pray and praise are the two lips of the soul, two bells to ring out sweet and acceptable music in the ears of God. Two angels to climb Jacob's ladder. Two altars smoking with incense. Two of Solomon's lilies dropping sweet-smelling myrrh. They are two young rows that are twins, feeding up on the mountains of myrrh and the hill of frankincense. Because he hath heard the voice of my supplication. Real praise is established upon sufficient and, un and constraining reason. 
It is not irrational emotions, but rises like a pure spring from the deeps of experience. Answered prayer should be acknowledged. Do we not often fail in this duty? Would it not greatly encourage others and strengthen ourselves? If we faithfully recorded divine goodness and made a point of extolling it with our tongue, God's mercy is not such an inconsiderable thing that we may safely venture to receive it without so much as thanks. We should shun ingratitude and live daily in the heavenly atmosphere of thankful love. O oh, glory to God! Great is His word, great is the Psalms, great is the exposition. O oh, may we imbibe and dwell, masticate and enjoy every fragment of His word. Trust you enjoyed the meditation. Michael here yet again declare Jesus is Lord until next time be blessed